here we are watching a fascinating light show. They are known as Aurora Borealis. Now these dazzling bright ribbons or streaks of multicolored lights illuminate the sky of polar regions, especially beyond 65 degrees latitude. Now let us explore this part of the world. Well, the natural region roughly beyond 65 degrees latitude or particularly beyond Arctic Circle is known as Tundra region. Well, Tundra region is an important biome of the earth that exists near the North Pole and it is absent in the South Pole as we can see in this map. Well, in this map, we can also see that this biome is present in the northern coastal regions of North America, Europe and Asia. Let us explore each of these regions individually. So, as I just mentioned, Tundra region is found in the northern coast of some North American countries like Alaska and Canada and this biome exists in the entire coastal margins of Greenland. So, Tundra biome exists in the northern coastal fringes of these three countries. Well, tundra biome also exists in the northern coastal fringes of Europe and Asia, together known as Eurasia. Well, if we consider the continent of Asia, then here we can find that it borders the entire northern coast of Russia, which is the largest country in the world. And coming to Europe, we can see that it exists in the Scandinavian countries like Norway, Sweden, Finland etc and it is also found in the northern coast of European Russia. So till now we have discussed about the location of Tundra regions. We found that Tundra region only exists in the northern hemisphere beyond Arctic circle. Now we shall discuss about the climatic conditions of this biome. Well, we know that Tundra region exists around the North Pole. So, it is needless to say that this region experiences extremely low temperature around the year. Now, the reason for mean low temperature is that it receives very slanting rays of the sun. Now, we know that only the torrid zone receives direct rays or perpendicular rays of the sun while the regions beyond both the tropics that is tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn receives slanting rays of the sun and the part of the world beyond temperate zone that is beyond arctic circle and antarctic circle receives very slanting rays of the sun and since we know that tundra region lies beyond arctic circle so it receives very slanting rays of the sun that is the sun's rays are very much inclined and therefore they are faint and less intense now due to low intensity of sun's rays this region does not get heated up much and thus it results in low mean temperature Another point to be noted is that the areas lying in the tundra region experiences 6 months of day and 6 months of nights. Now if you look at this picture very carefully and if we draw the circle of illumination that is the boundary that separates day and night. Then here we find that the region around the North Pole experiences night and in reality this condition prevails for around 6 months. And as we know this condition happens due to tilt of the earth's axis and revolution of the earth around the sun. So due to these two factors tundra regions experience 6 months of days and 6 months of nights. Now, although these regions experiences 6 months of days, but I just mentioned that the sun's rays received by them are of low intensity and therefore these regions have extremely low temperature throughout the year. So, as discussed just now, since Tundra region lies very close to the North Pole and it receives very slanting rays of the sun, therefore the mean annual temperature of this region is very low. 
Now this chart displays the temperature and precipitation conditions of this biome and here we can see that the temperature is indeed very low round the year. In fact, warm temperatures of about 25 degrees Celsius prevails only for shorter duration, especially during summer months. Whereas extremely low temperature, usually below freezing point, prevails for longer part of the year. So based on these temperature conditions, we can infer that Tundra region experiences two distinct seasons, that is summer and winter. Here, summer, as we can see, is short-lived and it hardly exists for three months, while winter prevails for longer duration, usually around nine months. Thus, overall, we can say that this biome remains extremely cold round the year. Now here we have the pictures of some common migratory birds and they are Siberian crane, flamingos, blue throat and white pelican. Now we usually see these birds for a particular period of the year especially before the onset of spring season. So they are like visitors who come to our countries for shorter durations. Well, do you know where do these birds come from? Well, these birds primarily live in the cold arctic zone of tundra regions. Now since we know that winter in tundra regions is extremely long and severe, therefore the birds cannot survive the cold harsh climate of tundra region and hence they escape to warmer countries in search of food. So here we find that migratory birds escape from tundra regions because the temperature of that place drops below freezing point for most part of the year. Let us know about the precipitation conditions of tundra biome. Well, tundra region not only has extremely cold and long winters, but the annual rate of precipitation experienced by this biome is also very low. In fact, the annual rate of precipitation is usually below 25 centimeters. Now this chart as I mentioned previously also displays the precipitation pattern experienced by tundra biome and here we can see that it remains dry for maximum part of the year. Well rainfall mostly occurs in summer months in the form of light showers or drizzle. Well during winters the most common form of precipitation is snowfall as the temperature remains below freezing point. Thus we can conclude that the climate of tundra region is not only cold but also dry. So based on the climate and precipitation conditions of this biome we can infer that tundra regions have arctic or polar type of climate. By arctic or polar type of climate I mean that it usually experiences cold and dry climate. This is to say that the mean annual temperature of this biome is extremely low and it remains dry for most part of the year. And this region as mentioned previously experiences two distinct seasons, short lived summer and long cold winter. We shall now see what impact these climatic conditions have on the vegetation of this biome. But before we proceed with our lesson, let us answer this. Tundra regions have arctic type of climate which is hot and dry, hot and humid or cold and dry or cool and moist. What do you think? Well, the correct answer is cold and dry. Arctic type of climate means that it is cold and dry. So the correct answer is cold and dry. Since the climate of tundra region is extremely cold and dry, so it is understandable that it is too harsh for any vegetation to survive in such a type of climatic conditions and thus this biome lacks vegetation and the ground remains covered with permanent snow. So this biome is rightly termed as tundra which in Russian language means a barren treeless area. Now, what is the reason for low vegetation in this region? Well, there are multiple factors that contribute to little vegetation in tundra region. 
let us explore them one by one the first and foremost reason for scarce vegetation of tundra regions is its climatic conditions this is to say that the climate of tundra region is extremely cold and dry so this climatic conditions is too harsh for any vegetation to survive so the cold and dry climate of tundra region does not support growth of any vegetation well we also know that in tundra regions summers are short lived in fact this summer season is so short that plants cannot germinate and thus the region is devoid of any significant vegetation cover well another reason for scarce vegetation in tundra region is that the ground remains covered with permanent snow see as we can see in this region the ground is covered with thick sheets of ice so due to this the soil becomes infertile and it does not support growth of any kinds of trees so because of all these factors we find that the vegetation of tundra region is scarce and scanty so as discussed just now the vegetation of tundra region is very scarce well the plants that manage to grow in such harsh climatic conditions mostly include mosses lichens grasses etc well these plants grow in groups and they remain close to the ground in order to protect themselves from gusty polar winds Another point to be noted is that these plants that is mosses lichens grasses etc grow in marshy areas of tundra regions which are also known as muskeks well in this picture we can see that mosses and lichens are growing on marshy moist areas which are known as muskeks Well apart from mosses lichens and grasses some flowering plants also grow quickly during short summer months and these flower plants are lily buttercups poppies violets so these are common flowering plants that grow during summer season and they wither away with onset of long cold winters well due to cold harsh climatic conditions and scanty vegetation the tundra biome is sparsely populated this region is mostly inhabited by some native tribes now some examples of prominent native tribes of tundra regions are eskimos eskimos mostly live in the north american countries like alaska canada and greenland so the native inhabitants of north american countries are known as eskimos now apart from this some tribes also live in scandinavian countries of europe and they are known as laps lastly the native dwellers of siberian region of russia are samoyeds yakuts and chukches so these are some prominent native tribes of tundra regions now the native inhabitants of tundra regions mostly follow nomadic lifestyle that is they do not have any permanent settlements and they mostly live as hunters and fish gatherers now can you name some animals on which these native inhabitants depend well the native inhabitants of tundra regions hunt some animals like seals walruses polar bears and reindeer they also hunt some fishes found in these regions well the native inhabitants like eskimos hunt these animals for milk meat fat fur and bones this is to say that these people not only hunt these animals for food but they also sell the fur and fat of these animals for their livelihood So this brings us to the end of today's discussion on tundra regions. Today we discussed about various features of tundra regions like their location, climate, vegetation and human adaptations. We discussed that this biome is only located in the northern hemisphere beyond the arctic circle. 
then i mentioned that tundra regions experience arctic type of climate which is characterized by long severe winter and cool brief summer also the annual rate of rainfall experienced by this place is very scanty now owing to harsh climatic conditions this region has scarce vegetation and it mostly comprises of mosses and lichens well some flowering plants as we discuss also grow during summer seasons then i also mentioned that the population density of this biome is very low and it is mostly inhabited by native tribes so this brings us to the end of today's discussion on tundra regions well we also have a summary video on different natural regions of the world don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now